Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tech Medic. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to get increased levels right off the bat as a fresh start. Because this game is an older game and it's basically more enjoyable with all the extra zombies that you get when you hit level 25 in the survival tree. So I'm on top of this building right now for the sake of getting some supplies and these are the packages that you're going to be utilizing to duplicate in order to go ahead and get to that skill level of rank 25 when you hit rank 25 you get access to the legend levels in which you can go ahead and do this all the way to 250 and this just increases your combat prowess stamina as well as uh, weapon damage and the healing abilities for your character Okay, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be getting inside of this event, inside of the stuffed turtle, and we're going to just go ahead and go to our right. We're going to pick up one of these packages. That's all we need to do. And run back out. Mine the electricity. And we can go ahead and get out of here. Okay, so once you got your disaster relief package, go back to any safe zone so that you can access your stash. You want to drop that disaster relief package onto your stash itself, and you want to have a high stack of something inside of your inventory. So that could be something like lockpicks or firecrackers or a crafting material that you picked up a lot of. You're going to have to do a little bit of farming in order to go ahead and increase the stack because duplication in this version of the game is not working the way it did in the past so whatever high stack that you have is going to be here inside of your inventory again if you pick up something like firecrackers out in the wild it's going to create an alternate stack and it's not going to add to this so that's how the patch has kind of alleviated this uh, glitch but if you have something high like i had 453 alcohol on me i could go ahead and utilize that and then create the stack of firecrackers so that's visible you want everything in here to be visible especially that high stack because what you're going to do when you exit out of your stash we're going to go ahead and do that now we're going to hover over the firecrackers exit out of our stash and when we open our stash what we want to do is we want to spam f right click and left click and if you do so you're going to succeed and you're going to get this screen and what we want to do is use our WASD keys in order to go ahead and navigate over to the right and go down and we're going to select that and we're going to hit C to transfer all. If we successfully did that, we should have one stack of that 453. In order to go ahead and show you that this works, we're going to go ahead and toss one back in. We're going to go ahead and go back up, hover over our firecrackers again. You can utilize any item. You don't have to use firecrackers. I just use them because they're an equipable item and they jump straight to the top. And now that we have that, we can go down to the disaster relief package. We can hit C again. And we can go check it out. And now we have five. So again, we can go ahead and do that. Go all the way to the top. And we could just pretty much put our cursor there because once you get a, the hang of this and you do it uh, repetitively, you can make sure that, you know, your high stack is always going to be right there. Go down, hit C. And then we can see now that we have six different stacks. And this is going to work until you get to a point. You don't want to be turning in like 90,000 of these uh, packages because you're not going to get the experience from them so you want to make sure that you do that as it is and it's going to help you unlock those skill levels especially survivor rank level 25 which is going to open up the ability to buy a bunch of different weapons that are going to be of that survival level and it's going to give you a bunch of different uh, ammunitions included with that and you're going to have more access to all the zombies as well as uh, increased difficulty and it's going to be a better experience I believe right off the bat especially before you jump into the rest of the story uh, a lot of the weapons that you do get inside of the game as you know they're gonna be kind of like uh, meh for the most part but opening up 
the police vans is going to be something of an excitement because you're going to be getting a lot of good stuff out of them. So anyway, if you made it this far in the video, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. It would really help me out. And we will see you all in the next one. Have a good night.